Hey everyone. Too bad here with two bads wild side. I thought I'd, today I'd show you my first aid kit. It's the Maxpedition FR1. Um, it's a real nice kit. I, I like this kit. Um, they're kind of pricey, but you know what? You get what you pay for, right? Um, it's all, you know, it's got some Molly attachments to it. Man, Cordova, it's really strong. Um, built really well. Uh, I won't spend a whole lot of time in this video. You know, there's other other videos out there, but you know, um, a couple things I didn't want to talk to you about. If you get a chance to take a first aid and CPR class, I would recommend doing that. Um, being in the military. I've not only received training for NBC, nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare, uh, first aid, but uh, advanced CPR and first aid as well. Um, it, uh, it, it it's, it's just good things to have under your belt, especially if you spend a lot of time in the field and and a lot of times you're by yourself. Or you might be with somebody that requires first aid um, or CPR. Uh, just the basics, uh, bandages, gauze, um, uh, you know, bleed stop, uh, uh, tape, hemostats. Um, I got ways to suture you up. Alcohol wipes, uh, antibiotics, uh, you know, pain, medic medicine, uh, you know, tongue just breath. You know, you could if you break a finger or something. There you go. You got these tongue just dis um, pressers. They're really they come in handy. Uh, what else? Um, you know, I'm not going to take it all out, but, you know, here's here's a little deal here where you can make actually a, uh, you know, if you, uh, oh, what do you call it there, if you, like, hurt your arm or whatever, you can put it up in a sling, right? Uh, what else? There's a wire splint, you know. Just uh, just the basics, you know, as far as first aid goes. Uh, here's a little good idea right here. This is spider wire, you know. If you had to use it, you know, to uh, suture somebody up, uh, you could uh, you could use this. Um, I've got some silk in here somewhere that that you could use too, right? Um, but it's just a really good kit. I like it. It's uh, just about the right size, the right size for me. Okay. Uh, uh, you could probably uh, go with a bit smaller one, maybe. But you know, I don't know. You can't ever have enough stuff when it comes to first aid, in my opinion. Now, this bag goes everywhere with me. I, I don't leave the house without it. Um, it stays on stays on my person at all times. At all times. So, you know, you've got a real nice knife right here. You know, so I mean, But yeah, they're they're a nice they're a nice deal. It's got some Velcro here, you know, and you know there's no doubt that if you see this on a bag that you know it's going to be a first aid kit, right? So I thought I'd share or share this with you. This is the Max Position, Max Position FR1, okay, used as a first aid kit. Um, so. You know, check them out, guys. You know, it's got plenty of pockets. It's got uh, 
you know, places to put just about anything that you can come up with for first aid. It keeps it all nice and neat and tidy and stuff, so. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, just a quick update. The, te the hot teepee tent is finished. It's done. Um, this weekend is my birthday coming up, so I plan on uh, taking it out for a couple nights to, you know, give it a good test and uh, do some cooking. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, really happy and excited that it's finally done. So we're going to put the Allison rocket stove in it and see how it performs. And uh, I got a couple of really cool ideas of about trying out some different method, methods of cooking on it and uh, yeah stay tuned for this weekend guys so uh, we'll talk soon hope you like the first aid kit don't forget to subscribe like and uh, share okay and uh, yeah we'll talk to you later cheers